Welcome back, Aluxers. Just when you thought you'd never stand in long lines with other holiday makers, shuffling along at a snail's pace to have your passport checked and stamped, and the sense of relief when you realize you've gone through and you're not a threat to the country you're visiting, we're here to give you some fantastic travel options that you can still head to. Just remember what we said in our video, 15 countries that are going bankrupt because of COVID. Figures and numbers at the time of writing this script were correct, and since our scriptwriter is not a fortune teller, we can only hope the numbers haven't increased exponentially, and same goes for entry requirements. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 1. Andorra Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 8,586. Recovered, 7,724. Deaths, 85. On the 2nd of March 2020, Andorra had their first coronavirus case, a 20-year-old man who had traveled to Milan. If you're keen to head to Andorra, you'll need a negative PCR or TMA test no older than 48 hours before arriving there. While you're there, you'll need to have a TMA plus rapid antigen test. After that, you need to self-isolate and then every few days after your arrival, you need to have antigen tests done to stay in the country. Andorra La Vella is a stunner of a city to visit and it's small enough that you can just walk around to your heart's content. Skiing is one of the biggest draw cards, with N-Camp attracting many skiers and snowboarders, which is the base of the Pasta La Casa and Grau Roig ski area. Number 2. Namibia Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 28,259. Recovered, 24,292. Deaths, 254. Namibia had their first case of confirmed COVID on the 14th of March 2020. It was a Romanian couple who had flown from Spain via Qatar. On arrival, they displayed no symptoms and then when they felt ill, went to get tested. Namibia had no testing available and their samples were sent to South Africa. Namibia is a majestic country and to enter you'll need a negative COVID-19 PCR test result less than 7 days old. Highlights of this African country include the ghost town of Kolmanskop, which used to be a mining town. When its mines were deemed worthless, everyone up and left, leaving a semi-buried memory of a once thriving town. The Skeleton Coast is also a must-see. This was the last coast that many sailors saw and the coast that is now littered with shipwrecks and memories. Number 3. The Bahamas Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 7,969. Recovered, 6,313. Deaths, 175. On March 15, 2020, the first confirmed coronavirus case in the Bahamas was made, and it was of a 61-year-old female. If you're keen to get out of the cold, then this is the ideal spot for you. Anyone older than 11 years old needs to have a negative COVID-19 PCR test. This must be less than 7 days old. Then you're required to have COVID-19 health insurance. Soak up the sun at the Exuma Keys Land and Sea Park, a marine protected area popular with boaters, divers, and snorkelers. Another great spot is Green Turtle Key, which feels like you're heading back in time. You get around in a golf cart and watch the local fishermen bring in their daily catch of crawfish and conch to shore. Number 4. Chile Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 642,000. Recovered, 603,000. Deaths, 17,096. Chile had their first COVID patient declared on the 3rd of March, 2020. It was a 33-year-old man from San Javier who contracted the virus in Southeast Asia while on his honeymoon. If you'd like to travel to Chile, you'd need to complete an affidavit of travelers before boarding your flight and then hand over a negative COVID-19 PCR test no older than 72 hours and have COVID-19 health insurance worth $30,000. Valle de la Luna and the Atacama Desert are what attract the most visitors, and there'll be little chance of getting COVID-19 when you're out on Easter Island and Rapa Nui National Park. It's 3,500 kilometers from mainland Chile. It's a surreal experience seeing the stone sculptures up close and personal, as opposed to only on your screen. Number 5. Bosnia and Herzegovina Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 115,633. Deaths, 4,330. Recovered, 81,625. 
After visiting Italy, a father and son were diagnosed with COVID-19 on the 5th of March, 2020. You can travel to Bosnia and Herzegovina if you have a COVID-19 PCR test result that's less than two days old. Be sure to raft the Tara Canyon, which is one of the biggest canyons in the world. It's 1,300 meters at its deepest point and measures 78 kilometers long. Another great option is Mostar, where you can cross the famous Mostar Bridge. This arched bridge was built in the 16th century but was destroyed destroyed in 1993 during the Bosnian conflict, but later rebuilt in 2004. Number 6. Kenya Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 98,334. Deaths, 1,713. Recovered, 81,101. It wasn't until March 13, 2020 that Kenya had its first case of COVID. It was a 27-year-old woman who had traveled from the U.S. via London back home to Kenya. All you need to visit this African gem is a negative COVID-19 test that's less than three days old. No quarantine required, just a health screening on arrival. This is a trip you will never forget. The people are welcoming, the landscape is surreal, and experiences are second to none. Watch the great migration in the Maasai Mara, where thousands of wildebeest migrate across the savanna, or head to Lake Nakuru National Park to view pink flamingos in their hundreds. Number 7. North Macedonia Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 86,494. Recovered, 67,453. Deaths, 2,622. North Macedonia had its first case on the 26th of February, 2020, a 50-year-old woman who had traveled to Italy for a month. Fortunately, the case was isolated and didn't result in other infections. It's completely open to tourists. No tests required. All you need is a thermal screening at the airport. For some incredible views, hiking the canyon at Matska is highly recommended. There are beautiful monasteries to enjoy while you're there, as well as some Macedonian red wine as your reward when you're finished your hike. Kokino is just an hour's drive from Skopje and is often called the Stonehenge of the Balkans. It's a natural observatory that dates back to the Bronze Age. Number 8. South Korea Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 69,114. Deaths, 1,140. Recovered, 52,552. On the 20th of January, 2020, the first case of COVID-19 was documented in South Korea. A 55-year-old man who had worked in Wuhan, China, and a 35-year-old Chinese woman. The latest travel update for South Korea is you'll need to quarantine for 14 days on arrival, but it will be worth it when you can head to the Trick Eye Museum in Seoul. The museum features trompe l'oeil paintings where viewers can take part in the optical illusions. You'll be astounded to learn that cheese was only introduced to the Korean diet around 1958, but they're totally making up for lost time. Head to the Imsil Cheese Theme Park, a 32-acre amusement park dedicated to all things cheese. So Aluxers, say cheese and let's move on to our next travel destination. Number 9. Turkey Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 2,336,476. Deaths, 22,981. Recovered, 2,208,451. Turkey were on the ball when it came to COVID. They had their first case on the 11th of March, 2020, and very quickly thereafter had a website created to track COVID cases, inform people of hotspots, let people report the selling of fake PPE equipment, and update people on hospital wait times. If you're traveling from the U.S., there are no travel restrictions. You just need to complete a form and get tested if you have any symptoms. Then you can be on your merry way and head to Cappadocia or Pamukkale, also known as the Cotton Castle in English. You'll feel like you've stepped into another dimension and you'll soon be booking another trip. Number 10. Egypt Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 150,000. Recovered, 119,000. Deaths, 8,197. A Chinese national arriving in Egypt on the 14th of February was the first documented case of COVID-19 in Egypt. To travel to Egypt, you'll need to present a PCR COVID-19 test that is no older than four days. Kids under the age of five don't need to and you need to have health insurance. Once you've done this, you can enjoy your holiday in Egypt.
Aswan is a tranquil town that is a wonderful place to unwind after the stresses of 2020, or heading to the White Desert will be a feast for the eyes when you mistake the sandy dunes for snow right in the middle of the desert. Number 11. Jamaica Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 13,548. Recovered, 11,429. Deaths, 312. A female tourist traveling from the UK was the first confirmed case of COVID in Jamaica on the 10th of March. Jamaica's website has clear instructions for anyone entering, but you're welcome if you comply with supplying a negative COVID test result through their online travel authorization. Jamaica has plenty to do, but two particularly noteworthy pandemic safe activities to avoid the crowds, which include rafting the Marta Bray River. Popular among couples, the local guides will take you down the river on a raft driven by bamboo poles or head to the unspoiled beauty of the Blue and John Crow Mountains National Park. The park itself is steeped in history and a hideaway from former slaves and the indigenous Taino people attempted to avoid slavery there. The scenery of dense jungle mountains, waterfalls and rainforests dotted with coffee plantations, it's an explorer's dream and a safe place to social distance. Number 12. Malta Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 14,396. Recovered, 11,841. Deaths, 233. Since arriving from Italy on the 3rd of March, an Italian family were in self-quarantine and on the 7th of March, they tested positive and were Malta's first COVID-19 patients. Malta is open for visitors, but there are limits on some countries that they aren't allowing direct access to. However, not all is lost. If you spend 14 days in Turkey before arriving in Malta, you'll be eligible to enter. When you arrive, you'll need to fill in the public health travel declaration and the passenger locator forms when you leave. The island of Gozo is probably the most ideal place to weather a pandemic. It is less developed than the other Maltese islands. It has a sprinkle of quaint towns and perfect quiet beaches. There's plenty of history, like the fortified medieval city of Victoria and the ancient Gontia Temple, dated back to 3500 BC. Number 13. Zambia. Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 27,728. Recovered, 20,598. Deaths, 469. On the 18th of March, there were two cases of COVID-19 reported in Lusaka, a couple returning from holiday in France. To enter the country, you'll need a negative COVID-19 test no older than 14 days before arrival and a mandatory 14-day quarantine. It's not a mystery why you would want to go to Zambia on holiday, though, at the best of times, but it's a perfect place to tour during a pandemic. Secluded beaches along Lake Kariba, or the scope to roam with plenty of social distance in the world's longest lake, Lake Tanganyika, making it feel like you're the only people on Earth. Head to the mist that thunders off the Victoria Falls that you can view from a distance or take a boat tour, or even a helicopter to see. And if you prefer to keep away from the crowds, the country is wall to wall of other rapids and waterfalls to explore in complete peace and tranquility. Number 14, Bangladesh. Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 522,000. Recovered, 467,000. Deaths, 7,781. Two men returning from Italy and their female relative tested positive for COVID-19 on the 9th of March, 2020. Check on the specifics with your country, but Bangladesh is letting people in if they supply a medical certificate with English translation showing that you are negative from COVID-19 tested within a 72-hour window of travel. Even with a negative test, you will have to home quarantine for 14 days upon arrival, so plan a lengthy stay. The capital city of Dhaka is the first stop for most people visiting Bangladesh. The architecture and history of the places of worship have created a building tourism sector. The varied history includes the Armenian church, Dhakishwari, mosques and Hindu temples, and the Cathedral of St. Mary in Ramna, the Holy Rosary Church, and the Lalbakh Fort from 1857. Number 15. French Polynesia Here's a breakdown of the stats. Total cases, 17,241. Recovered, 4,842. Deaths, 122. 
Minus Sage, a member of the French National Assembly, was the first COVID-19 patient in French Polynesia on the 11th of March, 2020. If you're packing your bags for the islands, you'll need to pass a COVID-19 test within 72 hours before your flight departs. You'll have to fill out an online ETIS form before you go. On the fourth day of your stay, you'll have to use a self-test kit that will be provided. French Polynesia is an outdoor explorer's wonderland. It has beautiful ocean reef for lagoon snorkeling or enjoy the water from a kayak, pedal boat, or a private boat tour. You can whiz by the reef on a sea dew or a sea scooter, you know, if self-powered snorkeling isn't quite your pace. Either way, you can look out for 200 species of local sea life, including turtles and stingrays. Head inland for forests and waterfalls that will blow you away with endless hikes or shorter walks to natural wonders. So Aluxers, which of these countries would you most like to visit during COVID? We'd love to hear from you. And of course, you stuck with us until the end. Here's your bonus. Now Aluxers, we know things are hard right now and we know that plans have been put on hold indefinitely. It will get better though. Your adventures will return and one day you'll regale interesting stories about surviving a pandemic to your children and their children. But we want you to get to that place and the only way to get there is for you to be safe safe and make safe choices. If you're struggling, we encourage you to seek professional help. From all of us here at Alux, we value you and thank you for watching.